talk this weekend about our College Scholarship Foundation. And if you're not aware that every summer we do a national college audition, which alleviates the need to travel all across the country to audition for four or five colleges, you can audition for 12 colleges under one roof. And they are amazing colleges like Pace and Point Park and Marymount and SMU and all of our wonderful partners that we've had for many, many years. Last summer, the National College Audition, the colleges awarded $14 million in college scholarships in one day. And some of you have dancers that are gonna be auditioning for the same colleges coming up in the next couple months. Our kids that came last summer, they did their audition in July, so they already have a jump start. And some of them will go back and be seen again in case they were not uh, chosen by the college of their choice. All that said, we are so proud of our foundation. We alone have awarded more than $4 million in college scholarships, and that's thanks to your support. Um, I was standing at the desk the, yesterday morning when a dad was very kindly buying the red bracelets. He's like, I want those red brace bracelets. And he knew that the money from the foundation, from the money from the bracelets was going towards the foundation. All of that matters. And I'm uh, so proud that we can say, with your help, that we have awarded $4 million to your dancers, our own dance, our NYCDA dancers who are hoping to go to college. We have dancers in over 40 colleges across the United States right now. Um, thanks to you. And I'm saying all this because last year we took a year off from fundraising. We didn't feel it was appropriate with all that was going on in the world and everybody felt the challenges. We did not do any fundraising whatsoever. We're feeling that right now. The foundation is, quite honestly. Uh, but this year, we haven't talked much about it, but some really good supporters that know about what we do have stepped up even without us asking, and that is really appreciated. Uh, on a weekend when it does happen, we wanna make sure we give a shout out and some recognition. Uh, this weekend, we do have a dance studio that has been supporting us over, over time. Uh, they did step up and wanna make sure they did get a year-end support in, since we are a 501c3. Every dollar that we raise in our foundation goes back out as a college scholarship. Nobody gets paid from the foundation. It's all our way of giving back to the tune of $4 million at this point. Um, so we, this is a special scholarship. We're starting our awards right now by awarding a special scholarship to a dance studio that is helping us to make a difference in the lives of some very talented teenagers. And we wanna give that scholarship this weekend to Bridge Dance Arts in North Carolina. And we will get that. We'll get that to you, but we just want to, you deserve that shout out, and so we thank you, uh, Amy and all, for making that happen. Um, okay, let's move on to some scholarships. These are not Outstanding Dancer scholarships. I'll tell you more about it as we go. These are regional convention scholarships based on the work done throughout the workshop. Just to save some time, it'll be easier right now, if you hear your name for this part of the, these awards, I'm gonna ask you to just stand up wherever you are in the room. Just stand up and let everybody around you know who you are and celebrate you. So please stand up, stay up until I tell you exactly what you've received. Following dancers, if you could please stand up. Ava Zisco from West Point Ballet. Hannah Sullivan from Synergy Space. Gracelyn Weber from the Dallas Conservatory. Morgan Ponte here is an independent entry. Niall Estrapis from Turning Point. Ryan Blatow from Project T. Quinlan Mc Mc McConarchy from the Ballet Conservatory. Chiki Hui from Buena Dance Studio. Charlotte Hale from Turning Point Dance. Rebecca Giddis from Inspiration Dance Academy. Lauren Kim from Complexity Dance Center. Olivia Garcia from Miami Dance Collective. Avery Cadell from J'adore Dance. You guys that are on your feet, and this is, I'm just gonna say this off the top of my head as I'm doing this, I don't think it has ever happened that literally every name, oh, I see two from the same studio. It's like, these are all different studios. That never happens, because this is done extremely randomly, just based on numbers, and ba based on what you did in class. These are ballet scholarships. Celebrate them for ballet. Great job in the ballet. Take a bow, guys. Be proud of that. Have a seat. Moving on, the following dancers, please. On your feet, Sonia Patel from Inspiration Dance. Caitlin Semtak from Inspiration Dance. 
Neela Patel from Inspiration Dance, Sachi Oza from Renner Dance, Jacqueline Echeverria from Virtuous Dance Center, Carly Soros from Studio Blue, Logan Spear from RPM Dance, Sophia Bell from Renner, Stella Watches from Bridge Dance Arts, Sophia Daly from Elaura Cecilia, Ashley Baranowski from Dance Fusion, Liv Klinger from J'adore, and Annie Betchel from Project C. These dancers are on their feet and they're receiving these scholarships for TAP. Great job in the TAP class. Take a bow, have a seat. On your feet, please. Nyla Stokes from Star Makers. Corinne Larson from Bridge Dance Arts. Skylar Johnson from East Street Dance. Gabriela Rodriguez from Dance Time. Cora Bryan from We've Got Rhythm. Riley Peterson from Spotlight Studio. Kathleen Millar from The Dance Collective, Niambi Jackson from Star Makers, Emma Oza from Renner. These dancers are receiving hip hop scholarships. Take a bow. Congratulations. Again, these are all regional scholarships, so you come back next time as our guest. On your feet, please, Giancarlo Nawalak from Project C. Jackson Schultz from Spotlight, Michaela Howard from Project C, Kennedy Beatty from East Street, Gina Zhang from Waina Dance, Max Thompson from Dance Time, Christopher Soros from Studio Blue, Caleb Conway from Center Stage, Blake Wilson from Dance Time, Anthony Joseph from Stuart Johnson Dance Academy, these dancers are receiving their scholarship. We call them our future stars. We recognize their talent. We want to help nurture their talent by giving them a scholarship for next time. Take a bow, so future stars. Congratulations. Uh, many of you know this, but some of you may not, that at this point, NYCDA does five intensives throughout the year. We have three that are about to happen over our winter holidays and two that happen every summer. And these intensives are open to any dancer that is hoping to spend a little more time in a professional setting with our faculty. For some reason, there's a misconception that the only people that get to go are the people that we are about to announce, which is not the case. Yes, we do handpick some people. They did a great job this weekend. They, they got noticed and they're going to be invited to come to the intensive, but any dancer interested in spending time with NYCDA faculty in a private, uh, more intimate, professional setting, you should think about applying. This winter, we're having a junior intensive for dancers ages 10 to 13, which is happening at Steps on Broadway in New York City, which is a professional training school in New York. The technique intensive that is happening this year, Ballet Hispanica, which has its own new building in New York City, is opening up its dance studios to support us and our teen age dancers. That's for dancers ages 13 to 18. And then our winter contemporary intensive is for dancers ages 16 to 21. And we host that every year at the Juilliard School. We're proud of the professional support that we receive. And we're proud to make those uh, opportunities available to young dancers. In the summer, we do a teen pre-professional intensive, which happens at Pace University. It happens the last week of July, as well as the first week of August. You can pick one week or both weeks. Uh, that is up to you. Some do one, some do both. Last week of July, first week of August, and the summer junior intensive, also at Pace University in New York City, uh, happens the first week of August. So all of that, just to put that on your calendar, I will tell you that for the junior intensive this winter, December 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th at Steps, we still have a couple of slots. So if there's anybody in this building who is now hearing about it for the first time that has a 10 to 13 year old that might want to come spend four days in New York City and do our intensive at Steps, please reach out as early as tomorrow or tonight and just send an email and say, I just heard about it. I have somebody that might want, might want to come. We have a couple slots. We could still accommodate a couple people. The following dancers, 
based on the work you did here this weekend, I'm going to ask you to come down to the front of the stage. It'll just be quicker. Make your way through and come to the front of the stage and come see Alyssa. She's happy to give you your intensive packet. These are not scholarships. These are special invitations. The following dancers are automatically accepted whether you choose to come to a winter intensive or a summer intensive. We'd love to have you join us for some extra training in a professional environment. Juniors, winter 2021, which is a couple weeks away, or summer, uh, which is uh, the first week of August in New York City. Juniors, automatically accepted. Journey Peel from The Collective. Kennedy Trammell from Backstage Dance. Sam Johnson from Wake Forest Academy. Mason Lidinger from Blair Dance Academy. Caitlin Brandt from Mind Body Art School. Jackson Garner from Dance Unlimited. More juniors, come on down. Madeline Larson from Bridge Dance Arts. Maeve Brennecke from Dane Dance Academy. Sophia Beeler from Project C. Madison Shambly from Start Makers. Anna Cobb from Star Makers. Miley Stellaric from Studio Dance. And Sophia Dominguez from E. Laura Cecilia. All talented juniors, all automatically accepted to our winter and or summer junior intensives. Give these dancers a nice big round of applause. Take a bow, guys, while we sort it out. Take a bow. And you can go have a seat. Go have a seat, go have a seat, go have a seat. I'm moving on to intensive standouts for summer pre-professional or winter technique. Summer pre-professional or winter technique. These are intensive standout awards automatically accepted. Isabella Palacolo from Studio Dance. Alicia Crawford from Project T. Savannah Hunter from Complexity. Mariah Barbie from Turning Point. Jackie Palmer from Project T. Bridget Munter from Backstage. Matea Trapiano from MJ Dance. Mia Edmonds from the Dallas Conservatory. Madison Zinkend from Center Point Performing Arts. Ron Flores from Project C. Cameron Redman from Studio Dance. Isaac Velasquez from Dance Fusion. Libby Blevins from The Dance Collective. Blake Wilkerson from We've Got Rhythm. Melissa Charbonneau from Dance Unlimited. Ari Hines from Stage, Stage Stars. Couple more. Harper Sherrod from the Dallas Conservatory, Sophia Daly from E. Laura Cecilia, and Jason Carr from Creative Dance Arts. All of these dancers, once again, automatically accepted. Give them a nice big round of applause. Winter technique or summer pre-professional. We'd love to see you guys at an intensive. Take a bow, guys. Take a bow. Go have a seat. Go, 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 go. She's got your stuff. They're still sorting it out. Winter Contemporary. This is the one that happens at the Juilliard School with Alexandra Damiani, who is the artistic director. She's currently, brand, she's taken on a new position. She's moved to Montreal. She is the new artistic director of Ballet Jazz Montreal, which is respected as one of the premier contemporary companies in the world. Meanwhile, she is committed to the NYCDA Contemporary Intensive because she meets so many talented dancers and uh, much like us as faculty shares that desire to guide them to that next step. This, this particular intensive is very essential for dancers really looking to get into one of those strong uh, college programs. Following dancers, automatically accepted. Winter Contemporary, this only happens once a year, December 27th through the 31st every year. December 27th through, the, through a half day on the 31st. It's happening again this year at the Juilliard School. And I will say there are probably a couple spots for this. So if any of these people are interested perhaps to take advantage of it this year, we probably could make that happen. But you do have to let us know right away. Contemporary Intensive, Emily Kim from Turning Point. Jaya Lestrapas from Turning Point. Abigail Weber from the Dallas Conservatory. Natalia Shula from the Dallas Conservatory. Isabella Torres from Mid-Atlantic Center. Niall Estrapas from Turning Point. 
Liv Klinger from J'adore, Xander Perone from Kenyak Arts, Sophia Daly from E. Laura Cecilia, and Savannah Hunter from Complexity Dance Center, all automatically accepted to our winter contemporary intensive at the Juilliard School. Give them a nice round of applause. You guys take a bow. Go have a seat. Thank you. And think about maybe if you want to come this year, we'll see if we can figure that out. Rising stars. This is something that also connects to our intensives, but it's something we started a few years ago. Uh, it has evolved. These are $200 scholarships to one of our intensives. These are the only, we don't do scholarships. These are the only scholarships we offer to our intensives. These are $200 scholarships, and they are chosen dancers. Each faculty member hand picks a particular dancer every single weekend to receive this special award. Uh, for my rising star, just because I have the opportunity to tell you why, this is a dancer that I watched. We, I talk often about making an impression and using every moment of every class to make that impression and not wait for just the one audition opportunity that every moment you're in the room becomes that opportunity to make that lasting impression. This is someone that I think does that tremendously, listens to everything that's going on in class, takes direction, and comes, comes back and grows every single time I lay eyes on them. Uh, so this rising star for me this weekend is going to Lorelei Watches from Bridge Dance Arts. I have nothing for you up here, so you don't have to come, you don't have to come up on stage. Just be proud. Dana's rising star, Jackie Palmer from Project T. Kim's rising star, Niall Estrapis from Turning Point. Savannah's rising star, Ava Buckholt from Turning Point. Jason's rising star, Madison Shambly from Star Makers Academy. And Fiction's rising star, Ryland McLaren from Cumberland Dance Academy. Big round of applause to all the rising stars. And remember, that means you can take a $200 scholarship and use it for one of our intensives. We would be proud to have you join us. Okay, one of the things that we are most proud of at NYCDA, and we talked about this today, I, I talked about it especially with parents actually yesterday in the Parents Forum, we want to be the bridge be between the convention world of dance and the professional world of dance, or whatever that next step might be. I say all the time, everybody in this room works so hard. I know every single person in this room, every dancer, every teacher, every studio owner, every parent, everybody in this room works hard to provide the opportunities we provide for these dancers. Why are we working so hard if we can't help them figure out what's next? It is not just about what happens on the convention, convention dance floor. We take that responsibility of what's next very, very seriously. So much so that we really go out and make sure that we are recruiting professional sponsorship to create more opportunities for young dancers. And I'm proud to say that today, or by the end of this season, we will, today we'll probably award about $40,000 in professional training scholarships. Along the season, we will be awarding upwards of $600,000 in professional training scholarships, beginning with some of the stuff we do right now. There are three professional schools in New York City, Broadway Dance Center, Perry Dance, and Steps on Broadway. All three have been sponsors of our Outstanding Dancer program from day one. All three are excited every year to welcome young and up-and-coming dancers into their studios. Steps on Broadway is an international destination for dance. People literally come from around the world to study at Steps. Speaking of Steps, Sydney is currently in the conservatory program at Steps on Broadway, which I love. Uh, she's in one of our NYCDA kids. But Steps truly is the place to come train in New York City. And I say that with pride because I am the new owner and executive director at Steps on Broadway, which allows me to do more for you, and that's what's exciting. It's actually where I built my whole platform as a teacher and choreographer. I've been teaching at Steps for many, many, many years, and just the last few years, the 
literally three years ago, they came to me and asked me if I would take over. And first I thought they were crazy because my life's already full, but then I knew I had to do it because it allows me to do more for young dancers that I meet along the way. So steps, we do a whole summer slew of special programs. We do five weeks of intensives and you get to pick how you want that to happen. We have some dancers that literally come to us for five weeks. We have some that do one and then week three and they go on vacation with their parents and come back and do another one. It is really up to you how you want to make it work. They all, they all run Monday through Saturday. Today we will be awarding $500 scholarships to the following dancers to come participate in a professional, pre-professional summer program at Steps on Broadway, which again is a professional school. It won't be a convention environment. It'll be in a true dance class setting. Following juniors, Think about the youth program summer intensive at Steps on Broadway in New York City. $500 scholarship. Come up and see Sydney Landon Shields from Bridge Dance Arts. And when you come up, please stay up here. Addison French from the Dance Ground. Lorelei Watches from Bridge Dance Arts. Suni Neverson from Star Makers. Juliana Vietz from the Dance Ground. The following teens come up, summer program. Hannah Sullivan from Synergy Dance. Elizabeth Weber from The Talent Factory. Danica Godfrey from Academy for the Performing Arts. Haley Wilson from Renner Dance Company. Kayla Montgomery from Academy for the Performing Arts. Alicia Crawford from Project T. Dakota Hill from Turning Point. Alexis Kiko from Turning Point. Jaya Lestrapis from Turning Point. Give these dancers a nice round of applause for summer youth program at STEPS, $500 scholarship each. STEPS is also the home of something called Summer Study NYC. This is a three-week program, which is a full immersion in either concert dance or theater dance. And being that we are in New York City, it means we bring in working professionals to work with the young talent. $500 scholarship for Summer Study NYC. This is going to senior dancers. Olivia Marco from MJ Dance. Natalia Shula from the Dance Conservatory. Morgan Ponte here is an independent entry. Emily Snyder from Mid-Atlantic Center. Isabella Torres from Mid-Atlantic Center. Brooks White from Spotlight Studio. Xander Perone from Kenyak Arts and Landon Jenkins from Nina School of Dance, Summer Study NYC. I hope you guys can take advantage of that. Would love to see you at STEPS, $500 scholarships. STEPS also has a two-year conservatory program. As I mentioned, Sydney right now is thriving there, meeting casting directors and agents and Broadway choreographers and artistic directors of companies. It is a two-year program. Again, full immersion in theater dance and concert dance. We're in New York, so we can make all kinds of things happen. These are $2,000 scholarships to the conservatory program at STEPS on Broadway going to Bethany Grismala from Center Point, Sammy O'Connor from American Academy of Ballet, Nisa Tatum from Turning Point, Samaya Norris from East Street, and Lily Milliard from Sta Stage Stars Dance and Acro. Think about the conservatory at Steps. Sydney can fill you in. Broadway Dance Center, another great training school in New York City with so much reputation, so much following across the world. They've joined our summer intensive search uh, this year. This is their first time doing summer intensives. This is a $100 scholarship to go study at Broadway Dance Center in the summer of 2022 or winter of 2022. And this weekend that's going to Dakota Hill from Turning Point Dance Academy. You're allowed to get more than one. That's how it goes. Hey, that's how it goes. Listen, I'm telling you, this summer I've watched kids get four college scholarships. They end up going home with $500,000 on offers. So take your two scholarships and be happy. That's great. You earned it. You earned it. You earned it. You earned it. 
Uh, Perry Mansfield is a special program that happens in the mountains of Colorado. It is run by some faculty from the University of Arizona in Tucson. They also do both concert and theater dance. They are uh, recognized across the country for what they do. They love meeting our NYCDA kids, and those that have gone have really enjoyed the opportunity. It's a $1,000 scholarship to Perry Mansfield. It's going to Monica Artiata. Here is an independent entry this weekend. I'm assuming you're here somewhere, Monica. Come on up. Body traffic. Body Traffic is an L.A.-based contemporary company. They are, again, one of the few companies in this, war, in this country that can really call themselves contemporary rep companies that are truly doing the work of the, some of the most internationally recognized contemporary choreographers from around the world. Uh, body traffic is relatively new, probably in the last five years. Uh, we've started a very quick relationship from the very beginning. Nearly, I want to say, 50% of the dancers and currently dancing for body traffic in Los Angeles are NYCDA alumni. So they love meeting our kids. They have also expanded the intensives that they're doing, wanting us to send more dancers their way. This is a $250 scholarship for a summer intensive in Los Los Angeles with body traffic. Go make this happen. For the in the teen room, it's going to Emily Kim from Turning Point Dance. In the senior room, it's going to Libby Blevins from the Dance Collective. Go meet Tina Burkett, the artistic director at Body Traffic. I have nothing for you. I'll give you an air hug. He's she he's got it over there. Go see Jordan. Go see Jordan. Stay up here, stay up here, stay up here, because there's more. Perry Dance, again, one of the three big professional schools in New York City. They also have an internal contemporary company that's actually performing this weekend. And, but we're all here, so none of us will see that performance. But they're doing their contemporary rep performance right now as we speak. This is a $300 scholarship towards the Global Summer Dance Intensive at Perry Dance in New York City. And this is going to Lily Schultz at Spotlight Studio. Perry Dance is also the home of a Blueprint Summer Intensive, and we are offering a $300 scholarship to Clara Cheneau from the Dance Company to go take advantage of Blueprint Summer at Perry Dance in New York City. Come on up somewhere. Uh, Complexions Contemporary Ballet. Everyone's heard of Complexions. Complexions ironically started their company the same year we started NYCDA. We've all been friends for a very long time. We've had a very strong relationship over all of these last 27 years. We've seen so many of our NYCDA dancers go on to dance for Complexions. They just did their season at the Joyce. We have two NYCDA dancers currently in the Complexions company. They also love meeting our NYCDA kids. They do, every year they redesign what they do for intensives at different places all across the United States. Doesn't matter where they are, just go and spend some time with Desmond Richardson and Dwight Roden and spend some time with Complexions Contemporary Ballet. This particular scholarship is co-sponsored by our foundation. We pay for half of it as the foundation because we so believe in the education and we want to see a dancer take advantage of this and open this door for themselves. Complexions, contemporary ballet, no brainer, you got to do it. Samaya Norris from East Street Dance Academy, $500 scholarship. Congratulations, Samaya, good job. Ballet Hispanico. Ballet Hispanico is celebrating its 51st year as a dance company in New York City. This is their, uh, we've, we've collaborated on many things over the years. They've been involved in what we've done in New York City at nationals, but they've never actually participated at the regional level. And we're so excited that they will be hosting our technique intensive this summer in their building, in their new professional studios on the Upper West Side in New York City. But they're also inviting dancers, offering scholarships to NYCDA dancers uh, to participate in their summer intensives. And again, we have NYCDA alumni currently dancing for Ballet Hispanico. This is a $1,000 scholarship to participate in the Ballet Hispanico Summer Intensive in New York City, and this is going to Emily Kim from Turning Point Dance Academy. There you go, Emily, congratulations. 
Bally Hispanico also does an annual Choreo Lab. I had the honor, actually, of being uh, an adjudicator on this lab a couple years ago. And what I love about it is they take emerging choreographers and give them an opportunity with fresh young talent to create something special in a dance studio. So the following dancer is receiving a $500 scholarship to go work with the emerging choreographers at the Ballet Hispanico Choreo Lab. And this scholarship is going to Isabella Torres from Mid-Atlantic Center for the Performing Arts. $500 scholarship to Ballet Hispanico Choreo Lab. Congratulations, Isabella. So very quickly, for all the dancers on stage, I'm gonna ask you, before you guys leave here at the end of the day, please come back. We're not gonna take the time right now, but before you leave, let us take very quick pictures so that each of these sponsors can know who they, you are. They wanna know you, trust me. They wanna invest in you, they wanna groom you, they wanna nurture you. So let us make sure we get these pictures for them, and we'll splash your picture all over social media too, you know that, and you'll share it with all your friends. Um, I just want to make sure, for, I hope that you guys get the chance to take advantage of some of this stuff, because none of this has to do with convention. This all has, this is all an opportunity to start taking baby steps into the real world and start to build a whole new network, a whole new dance family, and start to expand what you see as what dance could be in your life. Please give them all a huge round of applause. I would like you guys to take a big bow. It's one of the things we are most proud of at NYCDA, what's happening right now on this stage. Take another bow, guys, and go have a seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great job. Great job, great job. Great job. I really do hope you guys can take advantage of those things. Shifting gears. Okay, a little thing called Outstanding Dancers. Every dancer I'm about to call will forever be an outstanding dancer representing Baltimore. Every dancer I'm about to call is going to receive a National Convention Scholarship, which means they get to come to Nationals as our guest. They do not have to pay the workshop tuition. They've earned it here. Every dancer I'm about to call will forever be part of an all-star team. I'm giving her a big hug because Skylar knows exactly what this feels like. She did this last year. Uh, she's all the way from Minnesota. And wasn't her solo beautiful today? Beautiful. 11 years old. Crazy. So I love what we get to do. Every dancer I'm about to call becomes part of an all-star team of some of the best dancers we meet all across the United States. And trust me, you want to be in a room with those great dancers because it brings out the best in everybody there. The level just goes and mushrooms to a whole new place because it's so inspiring and so exciting to be surrounded by that much talent. So be proud that you're part of that all-star team. And I urge you, ask anyone that's ever participated in our summer program, especially for outstanding dancers, hands down, there's nothing like it in this country that it offers you those same opportunities. Even in the pre-professional world, outside of the conventional world, the stuff we can make available to you guys because we have New York, the support of New York City and other professional uh, institutions across the United States, really, we are excited to make that uh, happen for all, each and every one of you in different ways. Um, you are going to hear me call some dancers as runners-up. And you're going to hear, for the ladies, we always do top two. For guys, top one, which means there will be top three in each age division, if we have it. Sometimes we don't have it for the guys. All runners-up are equal as runners-up. All runners-up are also still outstanding dancers. The only difference is we feel that the top three deserve to know that the faculty saw them as the top of their age division. But otherwise, everybody is an outstanding dancer. I just want to make sure that's clear. And we're going to get started, and it becomes more clear, we get started with the minis. And we do have a top mini guy for the weekend, and this is going to Bryce Frazier from Renner Dance Company. Come on up. I see you, Bryce. Come on up. 
Mini ladies. And stay up here, Bryce, if you would. And actually, I'm going to put the minis over here. So Bryce, go over here. Join us. I've got some ladies that are going to join you. Mini ladies. Runners up. National Scholarship. Kennedy Anderson from Complexity Dance. Satya Aranova Kim from Turning Point. Eva Alicantara from Dance Stop. Shiki Hui from Wayna Dance Studio. Quinlan McConnerkey from the Dallas Conservatory. Kathleen Millar from the Dance Collective. Emma Oza from Renner Dance Company. Niambi Jackson from Star Makers. Gianna Smith from Middletown Dance. Nyla Stokes from Star Makers. Micaiah Dorenzis from The Collective. Corinne Larson for Bridge Dance Arts. Tierney Burns from Elaura Cecilia. Penelope Miles from Mid-Atlantic Center. And Bruno Navias from Stage Stars. All of our minis, give them a nice round of applause. But I still have top two. The top two mini ladies for this weekend. Joanna Surface from Access Dance and Acro and Emily Paulus from Middletown Dance Academy. Top two. Now let's give our minis a nice big round of applause. Take a bow, guys. Take a bow. I'm going to ask all of you guys to proudly make your way that way. Mark is over there. Go to Mark and just make a quick, a big clump. Don't leave the stage. Just make a clump because we're making room for juniors. But stay up here so everybody out there can see who you are. Scribble a little bit more. Just make a clump. Go in tight. There you go. Making room for juniors on this side of the stage. And joining me is our other current national mini eagle on that side. Give Spencer a nice big round of applause. Amazing solo today again, sir. Thank you. Uh, we have a guy that is going to join Spencer up here. Top guy for the weekend, Tobias Weber from the Dallas Conservatory. Yes. He's like, yes, yes, yes. Good job, Tobias. Congratulations. I love of you congratulations <laughs> junior ladies runners up national scholarships up on stage please olivia garcia from miami dance collective sadie williford from nina school of dance sachi oza from renner dance company lauren kim from complexity addison french from the dance ground avery cadell from jador dance Juliana Veritz Veitz from The Dance Ground, Scarlett Thomas from Studio for the Living Arts, Jacqueline Echevarria from Virtuous Dance Center, Maya Fernandez from Turning Point, Carolina Minnelli from The Dance Ground, Suni Neverson from Star Makers, Michaela Ahn from Turning Point, Rowan Harvey from The Dance Ground, Rylan McLaren from Cumberland, Miriam Fottle from Turning Point, Sophia Garner from Bold Moves Dance, Maya Polyakov from Studio Dance, Leah Rotman from Complexity, Ensley King from Renner, Seal Slaughter from Nina's, Sloan Edmonds from the Dallas Conservatory, Olivia Muzzati from Studio Dance, and Zoe Wojcik from Inspiration Dance Academy. Those are our junior ladies. They are the talented runners-up. Top two junior ladies for the weekend. Top two. Lorelei Watches from Bridge Dance Arts and Charlotte McCormick from Odaz Dance Theater. Top two. Give our juniors a nice big round of applause. Take a bow, guys. And go that away. Go visit Mark on that side. We're making a clump. Go that way, guys. Just go that way. Don't leave the stage. Please don't leave the stage. We're just making room. 
because we've got some teens that are excited to come up and join as well. And come, let's all give Luke a nice big round of applause. Yet another great solo today. Current national teen, and he's just from up the pike in, in Philly, outside of Philly in Pennsylvania. Come, see, guys, runners up, come up and see Luke. Uh, these are our runners up. National Scholarship Outstanding Dancer for Baltimore, Logan Spear from RPM Dance, Andrew Seaton from Dance Unlimited, Anthony Joseph from Stuart Johnson Dance, Christopher Soros from Studio Blue, and our top junior guy for the weekend, Sky Lorante from Encore Performing Arts, top guy. Give our teens a nice big round of applause. Great job, guys. Teen ladies, runners up, national scholarship. Graceland Weber from the Dallas Conservatory. Ava Buckholt from Turning Point. Kaylin Todd from Cumberland. Hannah Sullivan from Synergy. Macy Herbison from Odez Dance Theater. Naya Ricks from Ameri American Academy of Ballet. Dakota Hill from Turning Point. Avery Kaur from Renner. Jaya Lestropis from Turning Point. Emily Kim from Turning Point. Charlotte Pleascott from Eastern, Sh Eastern Shore Dance Academy. Maya McDaniels from Mid-Atlantic Center. Georgie Weir from Miami Dance Collective. Michaela Neal Simmons from Turning Point. Ariana Sherman from Stuart Johnson. Kira Callahan from the Dance Ground, Lauren Boyle from the Academy for the Performing Arts, Maddie Carpenter from the Dance Ground, Caitlin Paulus from Mid Middleton Dance Academy, Caroline McIntosh from Cumberland, Ariana Rivera from the Dance Ground, Ava Zisco from West Point Ballet, Sydney Greenfield from Evolve, Haley Ferrante from the Dance Collective, all outstanding dancers, all national scholarships. I don't know what happened. I just looked up and you were all standing there. I don't know. I'm sure they're figuring it out. There we go. Let's uh, welcome to the stage our top two teen ladies. Top two. Abigail Weber from the Dallas Conservatory and Layla Goodwin from the Dance Ground. Top two. Please give our teens a nice big round of applause. Take a bow. Got it, so we did, we ran out of some of the teen. There's so much talent here this weekend. So if you don't have the envelope in your hand, we promise you will get it. You still have the scholarship, no worries. We will mail it to the studio. We will get it to you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Give our teens a nice big round of applause. I'm going to ask all the teens, could you guys all go back to the NYCDA sign? All the teens, just go back, make a clump, because we're going to make room for seniors. And this will be the last piece of business for the weekend. So before we do this, all the dancers on stage, I'm going to ask you, please, before you leave the stage today, stay on stage and let us take really quick pictures. It'll take 30 seconds. But we want to take pictures with every group, including the seniors that are about to take the stage Please stay on stage for pictures. The uh, overall high score senior soloist, if you could also stay on stage, please. Overall high score, we did, it's the only picture we didn't get, so make sure we get that today as well. So senior soloist, who are the first place senior soloist, please stay on stage for pictures as well. Um, all those people that won the professional training scholarships, we call them our real world scholarships. If you could all please come back up and let us take those pictures as well. And before I move into seniors, thank you, Baltimore, for a great weekend. Hey, I didn't say this in the teacher's room. First of all, I congratulate all of you for making this happen so early. I know it's early in the season. Meanwhile, you presented some amazing stuff on stage, which really just speaks to the great stuff you're doing at the studio. Next year, we're back in January, just so you know now. Next year, we are back in January the way we normally are. Uh, this year, there was a some national convention is happening in Baltimore whenever that normal weekend is, and it's taking over the entire city. So we were not able to do January this year, but next year we will be back in January. We'll send you those dates. Seniors, 
National scholarships. Come see Eden. Beautiful solo again this weekend. Give her a round of applause. She's got your scholarship there waiting for you. Guys, runners up, up on stage. Brooks White from Spotlight Studio. Ryan Blatow from Project T. Cameron Redman from Studio Dance. Landon Jenkins from Nina School of Dance. Ron Flores from Project C. Top guy for the weekend, Xander Perone from Kenyak Arts Initiative. Top guy. Senior ladies, runners up. National Scholarship, Liv Klinger from J'adore Dance. Niall Estrapis from Turning Point. Natalia Shula from the Dallas Conservatory. Savannah Hunter from Complexity. Sammy O'Connor from American Academy of Ballet. Bethany Grismala from Centerpoint. Louise Hinsbo from Evolve Dance Complex. Jackie Palmer from Project T. Danielle Berman from Project T. Emily Ariaga from Nina's. Madison Zinkin from Center Point. Jalen Bourne from Project T. Emily Snyder from Mid Atlantic Center. Sophia Daly from Dane Dance. Nisa Tatum from Turning Point. Alicia Crawford from Project T. Lily Millard from Stage Stars. Tess Quartz from Carrie Dance Productions. Kylie Chamberlain from Project C. Last announcement for the weekend. Ladies, top two. Ah, turn the page and there's three. So we had a tie. That is rare that this happens. Very rare. But there are three top for the senior outstanding dancers. All three are equal. Carly Futrick from Dance Fusion. Samaya Norris from East Street Dance. And Isabella Torres from Mid Atlantic Center. Top three. Please give all of our dancers on stage another big round of applause.